Beyond the hustle and bustle of Albuquerque lies Pajarito Mesa, a landscape admired by its residents for the vast open beauty. Yet beneath its wide horizons, a problem is growing. The dumping of scrap tires and trash, scarring this magnificent land and threatening the community that holds it dear. We do have beautiful sights here, but once you start traveling the Mesa and you start looking at the details, you see the problems that are brought upon the Mesa. Once a home site, this property was converted into a scrap tire dump site, now a huge maze of tractor trailer tires, as high as a military fort wall. But once discovered, Bernalillo County Planning and Development Services Department stepped in using the nuisance abatement ordinance to enforce the cleanup of the site. Whatever's on the property is the responsibility of the property owner, whether it be trash or tires or chemicals. When possible, the county tries to pursue the individuals that leave tires or trash on the mesa. Just around the bend is Luz Maldonado. She's raised seven children here on the mesa over the last 30 years. Now one of her daughters is raising her own children here as well. Happy birthday to you. Today, there's reason for celebration. When we first came and encountered the Pajarito Mesa, this, I said, you know, this is beautiful. This is where I want to raise my family, and this is where I want my kids to be because of the open space. But over the years, the open space has also attracted a shadier element, trash haulers unwilling to do the right thing. So that makes me feel sad, you know, because uh, they're not taking into consideration that there's families out here. There's kids being raised out here causing harm to our environment, causing harm to our family, and uh, making our, our Mesa, you know, ugly. Luce's story echoes throughout the Mesa, a community once marked by natural beauty, now facing the encroaching blight of carelessly discarded waste. Sí, no, pues es que yo como ahorita pues tengo diabetes, ve, y me impresiona mucho tener todos estos uh, problemas con la basura. Coraje y desesperación porque pasa uno y se poncha las llantas del mueble y hay veces que echan la basura a medio camino y ahí anda uno batallando para pasar. That's where the state of New Mexico Environment Department comes in. Like Bernalillo County, they take the problem seriously. They were able to help the county with cleanup of the site through the recycling and illegal dumping grant. Collaboration is extremely important with public agencies and the state of New Mexico working closely in hand because it is extremely important to talk about what's going on so we can look at the trends and get data. And when we look at that data, we're able to apply enforceable actions that can lead to solutions. At dawn on a recent morning, the contractor in Virotech is loading up 70 tons of tires that will be hauled nearly a thousand miles for recycling. When it's all said and done, it's going to be about 10 truckloads at least. We've got about five trucks out right now and we have another round coming. Most of the tires here have been bailed for easy transport on flatbed semi-tractor trailers. Because when sites get to be an alarming rate of or a size, um, they have to pay an extremely high cost to get rid of them. Believe it or not, Millions of dollars a year is spent on scrap tire cleanup efforts statewide, a testament to the scale of the problem and the expense of negligence. Efforts to restore Pajarito Mesa are ongoing. Through united efforts, the residents hope to turn back the tide of neglect and restore the natural beauty of their home. So I would like uh, to see uh, a clean community somewhere where we can be proud of. To report an illegal dump site in Bernalillo County, visit burnco.gov and they'll start an investigation. We appreciate, you know, the partnership with Bernalillo County. We appreciate what they've done and what they continue to work for our community. Every effort counts, every action matters. This is not just a local challenge, but a call to all who value our lands and our communities. <laughs>